We are counting down. Yes, we are counting down to one of the most highly anticipated movies of the summer, Barbie. Deborah Roberts sat down with Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and the rest of the cast before the SAG after strike. And she is back with that dressed appropriately for the story. Good morning, Deborah. I couldn't help it, Michael. I couldn't. So many of us remember our first Barbies. I got mine at age nine, and she was such a treasure. But over the years, Barbie became pretty controversial with criticism that she projected a narrow and impossible standard of beauty. But we also saw her evolve, a multi-career woman representing different races and shades of beauty, sparking new conversations about the now, now 60-year-old doll. And that's what seemed to motivate this movie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Who'd imagine that Barbie would be at the center of summer's most anticipated movie? No one rests until this doll is back in a box. So much pink. So much pink. Barbie Land is where I caught up with the star-studded cast. And we were in no danger of a water accident. No. Nope. <laughs> Look at this. So safe. Look at that. Look at that, right? Exactly. I'm totally fine. You're, you're, you're like Chris Angel or something. It's totally just... fine. I'm, and I'm not a strong swimmer. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling star as Barbie and Ken, the iconic dolls who've ruled in Kid World for 60 years. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned. Just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. People have complicated relationships to Barbie. Barbie is a global cultural icon. Many people love her. Some people, not so much. How did you sort that out? I think that's part of what made this project exciting and part of the reason that we wanted to make a Barbie movie to begin with was, A, she's so well known. She's so, it's such a globally recognized name. But more than that, I, I was both scared of and excited by the idea that people were gonna come into this movie already feeling very strongly about the protagonist. Were you immersed in Barbie world at all growing up? No, I wasn't a Barbie boy uh, myself. When I watch my kids play with Barbies, they're not brushing their hair and dressing them up. You know, they have all have names that aren't Barbie. They all have very complicated backstories. It's very involved. Barbie, with its vibrant colors, offers a big message, challenging stereotypes all part of the vision for Oscar-nominated director Greta Gerwig. Were you reluctant at all, given the roles that you've played over the years? I admire Greta and, and Margot so much that it was really just a, a, an opportunity to work with them was, was too good. I, if I was reluctant, it was I, I doubted my Kennergy. <laughs> but Kennergy, I, I had to trust that they, this is, that they would guide me. There's a, a real story here about men and women and your place and power. Was that important to you in terms of making this movie? I, it's exactly why I wanted Greta to do this movie. I think in a lot of other hands, this a Barbie movie would remain surface level. But I knew Greta was going to have a lot to say, and I knew she was going to kind of Trojan horse a lot of uh, big issues within a very fun world. There's a lot of talk in the movie about the patriarchy. That mm -hmm. word is used a lot. In the film, uh, the Supreme Court is all women. There's a woman president. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn to the Barbie next to you. Tell her how much you love her. Compliment her. Reporter Barbie, you can ask me any question you want. How come you're so amazing? <laughs> no comment! Ah! I mean, I love seeing the Barbies, but it's also a, a, a way to look at something through the eyes of the Kens where you think, oh, I see what they've done there. Yeah, it's not so great when you're the accessory. With its campy humor, the film, budgeted at about $100 million, goes all out, while also reflecting the diversity Mattel has incorporated in its doll line in recent years. You, know, you play President Barbie. Um, what did you make of that, and was it significant to you that this film was sort of one that was all about inclusivity and it's not the classic stereotype, just the stereotype of Barbie? The only hesitation was just like, oh, where do I fit in this, in this particular Barbie world and how, like, what will the Barbie world look like? Because, you know, no one wants to be kind of tokenized in that world, but stepping onto that, that set, that was part of the beauty was that there was just so much of, uh, so much representation, there was so much of everyone. Issa Rae joined on screen by comic icons like Kate McKinnon, who plays Weird Barbie. Getting to wear, like, 
a kooky outfit and kooky wigs and uh, kooky stuff on my face, that's like where I feel most at home and like myself. So it was just perfect. Oh my God, I just loved every second of it. Hi, I'm Weird Barbie. I am in the splits. I have a funky haircut and I smell like basement. But America Ferreira has perhaps the most memorable scene as Gloria, a mom who reminds us of the struggle modern day women grapple with every day. Mom, are you really gonna let Barbie take you and your tween daughter to an imaginary land? Yes, and you wanna know why? Because I never get to do anything. I ask your co-stars this and I wanna ask you, fill in the blank, Barbie is? All of us. I just hope that people love it, and I think they will. I hope that they feel good about themselves watching it. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of relief in this movie in that the message ultimately is, you're good. You're good as you are. Good as you are, and it's pretty good too. A really fun movie. By the way, spoiler alert, the real life Barbie, who the doll was named for, actually has a cameo in the film. And another fun fact, there was so much pink used on the set in England for this film that reportedly there was a shortage of that particular color, color worldwide. <laughs> Barbie is in the theaters nationwide this Friday. Wear your pink, everybody. Get your <laughs> pink, Michael. All right, we're gonna follow your lead. Thank you so much, Deb. We appreciate that.